Yeah, yeah so with the new EPA regulation, I'm just giving my old POS RAM away. <laughs> get out the light here a little bit better uh yeah so there's a reason why it's parked in the junk pile because if i don't get this thing fixed before the dumpster gets here i'm just picking this thing up setting it right in the dumpster and she's gone with it but that's like well, he parked right in the dumpster pile i'm like no nah, it's it's there for a reason <laughs> but uh i mean honestly maybe somebody can help me here with this i have a pretty good idea what's going on but I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, but literally, if anybody has a supercharger, or now anyone has a supercharger kit for the GTO, like an LS1, I'm talking like belts and plumbing, you know, pretty much everything I've need. Need a fuel pump or something, or at least help me out. I'd definitely trade that thing for that. Because this thing is pissing me off so bad. But, uh, I'll get over there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Maybe somebody can figure this out. And then we'll talk about the the EPA stuff, it's kind of funny. Not really, it's kind of how everything's going. Yeah, I was hoping to get out and do some shooting before the dumpster does get here, because I got like refrigerator, got stove, toilets. I got so much stuff here, so much good stuff to shoot. This is totally renovating this house. So I think you think of that, you got a pile of stuff to shoot. Anyway, this thing here, so let me see. Oh, that's one thing I love about this time of year, shorts and hoodie weather. So this is the, the lift <clears throat> lift pump. Yeah, it pumps the fuel from the tank, obviously, to the injector pump. It was, uh, the wires were bad. I just have these just sitting there because they're new. And I was always going to replace them. I never got to it. I got busy with stuff. And uh, the connection, it would turn on and off. So, you know, you'd be going fine. All of a sudden, it, would be, it wasn't getting fuel pressure. Brrr, kick back on and stuff. So, I pretty much just coasted it here. It will idle fine for days. But as soon as it needs the fuel, it just... It sounds like an engine brake or something. It is not... It's just no fuel. Uh, but with these new wires, the fuel pump is running all the time. Like, it's, it's working. But it's still doing it. So, I'm hoping... Very possible. I could have just pissed somebody off and they could have put something in my tank. That was like the best case scenario, unfortunately. I hope it's not the VP44 pump. I don't think it is because it just seems like it's not getting fuel. Usually when they go, they just don't, uh, they don't run or anything. So, I'll, obviously I'm going to pull the fuel filters off. They're new, they're two years old, I think. Uh, I'll check them, cut them open and stuff, see if there's anything in there. And I was going to pull the fuel line off the VP44 there and test the pressure, but just kind of curious to see if anybody has any other ideas what it could be i don't think it's electrical like an ecu or anything or a box on the vp there because there's no codes and it fires right up and it's still idle forever it's just when it needs a fuel it's not there so like i said but the pump's running so there's has to be a problem between a pump and the, the injection pump i hope but i'll uh, i'll turn a key on here and i'll show you what i mean if it'll start if not, first come, first serve, it's free. Uh, I checked my intake too, like my air filter, make sure nothing was clogged there. It's all good. I'm going to take it for a little drive around and see if I can get it to do and see if the voltage drops at all. Make sure it's not that. Okay, now it's still doing it here, so give it some gas. Yeah, here, breaking up. Oof. So it's definitely uh, not the voltage, that's for sure. Yeah, so it'll sit here and idle for days, fine, you know. And let's see. There it goes. That's fine. There it is. Like I said, the voltage doesn't change. So it's definitely not that. So it could be injector pump or injector, but usually they're really more consistent than that. This thing's so consistent. Like you'll be getting on the highway or road, tell you find a then boom, pick back up, you know. It's really seems like it's could like a fuel filter which it shouldn't be they're only two years old but that fingers crossed i just pissed somebody off and they put something in the tank <laughs> maybe they put gold dust in there huh hey anyway, let's just talk about the epa shit but before we do let's go see what blue has to say blue's on time out because he's a bad boy blue you bad hey sit hey no are you a bad boy did you do something bad today hmm 
He knows he did, didn't you? Who's the bad boy? <laughs> Go visit. Best thing about having a little crick in the yard, just a natural refrigerator. Just need some, <laughs> need some energy. Oh. Do fishing. Oh, I got myself a monster. There you go. All right, let's see if old uh, GTO will start here. Just got her out of storage the other day. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. She needs some little bit of runtime. So let's do that. We'll talk about the good old EPA. Uh, Go to the tripod here. That's a little better. Sorry to. The wind's a little dirty on this side. Still can't fix my face. Hmm. It's a problem. Anyway, yeah, the EPA stuff, probably a lot of people, I don't know, heard about it. And it's kind of what, like, the trend of the whole, whole America. I don't even call it America. It's like, it seems like it's like the global list, you know. I hate to say left or right. It's definitely Joe Obama and, uh, Camel toe, hairy ass, doing like definitely leading the charge. But anyway, with EPA stuff, basically, if your vehicle like this, any vehicle has a VIN, you are not allowed to modify the engine in any kind of capacity, like anything at all whatsoever. Like, you can't touch it. And you know, a lot of people say, well, that's fine. I don't mess with cars and stuff. And like, I'm a gun guy, and I talk to a lot of people, and they're like, well, I don't really shoot guns, I don't really care, you know. It, a lot of like businessmen and stuff. I'm always like, well, what do you like to do? A lot of them play golf. I'm like, okay, what if they go over golf and say all the hundreds of thousands of acres of land, we need it for windmills. You can't golf no more. And I always said that with like car people stuff too. They're like, oh, well, I like cars. I don't do guns. I'm like, well, dude, I guarantee you cars are on the chopping blocks. They're like, oh, no, no, no. I'm like, dude, I'm telling you. So they're going to say it's going to be environmental, you know. And like, I like Cletus McFarlane, Whistling Diesel, and all that stuff. Like, them guys, like, I admire them because they do, they get, they make a lot of money for doing stuff that they love to do. And that's so cool. But if this EPA stuff goes through, they, with, with guns, like, obviously, if they get rid of guns, I ain't getting rid of my fucking guns. But, can't make YouTube videos, you can't do anything, you know, you can't show them off. Same with cars, like, if they would pass something like that, you couldn't have any more content with cars, you know, because you couldn't show rolling coal or doing burnouts and, you know, modifying the engines and stuff. There's a lot to uncover there. I'm not sure it's not finalized or anything, but uh, I know, seeing a lot of different channels, people talking about, I'm sure you can look it up, find more clear information, but one guy he said he got audited. Like they actually come and checked his stuff to make sure everything was factory. So like no, no exhaust, superchargers. You know you can't. This thing's like tuned. Can't do that. Then the ripple effect of that, you know, manufacturers that would kill one of the biggest industries in America. So you know, guns, you know, cars, ATVs, uh, motorcycles. Like, I kind of, that's what I think they want to do is just, like, cripple everything and make everybody, you know, universal basic income welfare, and then you'll have your top globalist elites, and then we'll just live in sales, I mean, apartment buildings, and can't do anything. I think it's kind of what it seems like they want. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'm wrong, but, uh, you know, it's, he it says cars now. After that, it'll probably be sports, golf, fighting, boxing, whatever you're into. Eventually, they're if they don't want you to have fun. Or the Democrats are like the most boring people. I'm not trying to lump everybody together, but I have never met a Democrat that actually likes to go out and like do something fun. Never or have hobbies. It's weird. But uh, if you're a Democrat, you do. Let me know. I have nothing against this. Like I said, I don't think it's Democrat, Republican, or anything. It's just certain people in the world. Nancy Pelosi. You know, them, them fucktards. Uh, people at YouTube, them fucktards. Instagram, them fucktards. Facebook, that fucktard. All them idiots. They're fucktards. Uh, but yeah, you can go, I think, on SEMA's website, they had something there. 
They can sign a petition and stuff. Will it do any good? Probably fucking not. They don't care. They'll do it anyway. But just throwing that out there. I'm going to get back to dealing with some garbage. The Ram. And then I got a bunch of bunch of trash to pick up. Like the Ram. But yeah, seriously. If anybody knows any more information on that. SEMA or the EPA stuff. Or uh, anything going on at that stupid fucking Ram. Let me know.